Hi everybody, my name is Tess and I am with the paper and ink spot .com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm pretty new to social media. So yeah, um, I've been with Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator for actually going on three years, but I have never done uh, the social media aspect of my business um, probably because I'm just such a social person I love getting together with my friends and my family extended family and and my family <laughs> but um, yeah so I never really thought I was gonna do the whole social media platform um, for my business but because of COVID-19 um, I have been forced, in a way, to uh, join the uh, social media movement, and um, it's really been good. Um, this will only be my fourth video. I actually had my gallbladder removed two weeks ago, so I have been kind of slow to to get all of this going um, because I've been suffering with the gallbladder for months and months um, without being able to get it taken care of because of COVID-19. So yeah. So anyway, um, with all that said, today is a little craft room tour. And so I'm at the entrance to my craft room. Um, I, I do have an area here that is um, more for my home life. <laughs> so that's this area, this corner of my room. Um, over here, um, there are some more uh, storage shelves that, same thing um, for other things. But um, as you come in here, this area is where the magic happens. <laughs> so I'm going to walk us through. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, this right here is a plant that I got from my son's girlfriend's family, um, the Chamberlains, when my mother died. And I love this plant because my mom loved lilies. And um, my husband has been overwatering it. And so he uh, no longer has permission to water this plant because he's killing it. <laughs> killing it with love. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Um, here's where... My two dogs, I have a miniature dachshund and a pit bull. My pit bull, his name is Thor, and he bosses me around. And he, this is his bed. He lays there when I'm in here during the day. And just to let you know, it's really early in the morning, and everybody's asleep still. So, yay for me. I have the house to myself. Um, yeah, this is just my neighborhood. Hi, neighborhood. Okay. So here we go. Um, we're going to start right here. Um, this right here is um, my cube unit from Ikea. I'm sure you all know all about those units. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, some of these units right here are from Michael's. Um, and I can't remember which ones because I bought them a while back. Um, this is also from Michael's, this little turn thing here, which I love. You can tell I love it. You can tell I love scissors. <laughs> um, yeah, so this, this right here, these are all my non-stamping up, um, supplies. And to be honest, I very rarely use them anymore. And I should probably donate them or um, have a garage sale. I don't know. <laughs> I need to do something with them because um, this is just taking up space. 
I'll kind of pull back so you can see all that taking up space. Yeah. Oops. Don't you look down there. Don't you do it. You didn't see that. <laughs> okay. So getting back to this. This is where my stamping up items start. And I'm just going to give you kind of a brief um, 180 here. And hopefully I don't make anybody sick doing this. Um, yeah, there we go. So this is my happy place. I love to be in this area right here. Um, I'm going to start with showing you, I guess, so, one of these little units that I got at Walmart. I just keep um, extra cardstock, and those are card base cardstock. So I have Whisper White, Very Vanilla, and my Black, and Grey Granite, which I love. Love, love, love my Grey Granite. Okay, in here... I have all my cardstock, and the way I store my cardstock um, is in these job ticket holders. Um, Jennifer McGuire was the first one, I think, that had a video on this. So I cut the top off where the little hole was that you hang on the wall, and then I used a retired Stampin' Up! punch to punch these little labels out. And just looking at it, you can tell how quick and easy it is to grab the color I want. So yeah, that's fantastic. I love this. And in this side, I have my DSP. And I have these, I believe these folders are from Totally Tiffany. And I know these are from Totally Tiffany. These are what I store my 6x6 six six paper pads in. And um, in here, I also have just extra card stock. These are colors that I use a lot. So, have extra. And this is all my DSP, my designer series paper. Um, and these are 12x12. 12 12. That's what I keep here. Okay. Over here... I just have some magnetic sheets and I have these amazing four by six um, job. Whoops, that's upside down. Let's see. Shop ticket holders that I purchased on Amazon. And I'll show you what I use those for in a minute, but they're amazing and I love them. I'm getting caught on cardboard. So I have cardboard up here as well that I use to put my magnetic sheets on. And this is just cardboard that comes out of packaging. It's like totally free, right? Um, yeah. Um, the rest of these cubes, they're, they're not really holding a whole lot. But these cubes also came from Michael's. Um, up here, I have some acrylic drawers. And those just hold my Stampin' Spots that come out of my paper pumpkin, my Stampin' Up! paper pumpkin. There's an extra one I have right there that I will do a giveaway one of, one of these days soon. Okay, so we, we come over here to this unit. This little unit came from Michael's as well. And I have stamp sets current stamp sets here i have my little gemini here um stampin up retired their uh big shot a year ago and so i purchased uh this little gemini go just to have another option for die cutting um down here is my canon selfie this is my Stampin' Up! 6x8 album. Uh, Stampin' Up! has an awesome pocket page system for scrapbooking. And that's what I do because you can make your pages as fancy as you want. 
or as simple as you want. And I love that versatility. So yeah, love that. Um, the rest of this down here, just some retired items over here. Um, that's just my bag for my Gemini right here. Ooh, sorry about that. Okay, so moving over here, these drawers came from Michael's. And they just contain um, the business aspect of my Stampin' Up! business. So I have um, plastic bags for customers. I have my um, project planner that my awesome sweet friend and upline Tammy Savillo gave me. I have a notebook that I um, draw uh, ideas for cards in and for 3D projects. And I have my um, Clever Fox Planner that I use. Also down here, I have a catalog. So quick to grab. And on top of that is my paper trimmer. <laughs> so easy to grab all of these things. And I love that. Um, up here, uh, this slot right here is where this laptop goes. Um, for some reason, I didn't put it away last night, which I normally do. But yeah, so it goes there. And I use this laptop only for stamping up for my business and for my business social platforms. So it's a dedicated little laptop. Um, right here is my Stamparatus. It's a stamp positioning tool, and I totally love it because I have four of these plates, and so they each have, you know, a side. So I can do multiple layers or multiple different scenes all at one time because I have four different um, plates. So the Stamparatus comes with two plates, and then I purchased an additional two because I make a lot of um, um, mass production cards, and I'm going to have a video on that one of these times. <laughs> um, this, this container right here, I got at the dollar store, and I just put all the supplies in it that I'm working on for a project. So I have some ink pads, my stamp set. Um, that's one of my finished cards. Um, yeah, some blends. You can see everything I need for this project is already in here. So I can just grab it and move it over to my desk. And it's easy peasy. So, um more current stamp sets and by the way i only have current stamp sets out um because that reminds me to use them all because i i do have you know a lot <laughs> but they're so pretty right um yeah so if you noticed on my stamp sets i have dots so well look at this one no dot so that means that this one is from the old catalog, but it is still current, meaning that you can still purchase this. Uh, if it has an orange dot, it means that it's from our brand new catalog that just launched in June. And the orange dot tells me, hey, that's from the new catalog. You need to make projects with that stamp set. Uh, if it has a pink dot, it means that it has a punch that goes with it. And in this case, Beautiful Autumn, actually the punches are right here. And that's because I was playing with this set. It's really awesome. And I am going to be making some cards with this soon. So look for that video. Um, if it has a blue dot on it, that means it has coordinating dies. So... And look, there are the dies. And I store these dies inside the stamp set. And it's just on these magnetic sheets that I bought on Amazon. So, yeah. So, stamp set, which is in here, and the dies. 
and this is so easy for me. So I love having it all together. It's very organized that way. Um, let's see what other dot green dot. Um, green dot means it's a holiday stamp set. So yeah, that's my dot system <laughs> down here. Uh, these containers I bought, um, on Amazon and actually I think you got like two of them to a pack and they were extremely reasonable. So, um, whoops, sorry about that. So right here, I just have scrap paper. Um, because you know, if you want to do a stamp off technique or anything like that, you know, scrap paper is a must have in a stamp room, right? Um, here is some very vanilla, uh, cardstock. If I want to use that for stamping, it's right there. Over here is the one I use the most. It's Whisper White. And I already have panels cut that I can stamp on. I also save my bigger scraps um, so that I can use these on, on cards so I, I don't waste. I don't waste a lot. Now, if they're small, you know, small pieces, I throw them away because then it becomes a hassle and not a help. Okay, so coming down here, you'll see I have um, a rolling shelf, uh, which is, I believe it's supposed to be a shoe, a shoe shelf. And I bought this from Amazon. I believe it was $24. But on it, I have a power strip where I have my heating tool, my embossing tool. I hung it up with just um, one of these command strips. And it lives there. It's always plugged in because I love to use this in card making and in scrapbooking. It's really awesome. My light box, I take photos of all of my projects to post them on my blog, which is the paperandinkspot.com. Check it out. <laughs> um, and that I also got on Amazon, my light box, and it was $20. It's the um, small light box. They have bigger ones. I don't need a big one, so I just bought that one. Um, down here, I have my P-Touch label maker that I use all the time. I also have my um, hand vac because I do like to keep things tidy. Um, yeah, that's just me. Okay, so coming back up now, um, in this cube, I have dies that may actually have a stamp set that goes with it but they don't actually cut out um images these are just more like shapes and so instead of storing these shapes with a stamp set that in my mind doesn't match the dies if you know what i'm talking about for me, it's just easier to have those dies separate. Um, and yeah, and that way I know all my shapes are in here and I can cut out pretty shapes to stamp on. I can use pretty shapes to cut sentiments out. Um, yeah, so see, all of these are um, shapes. Even though this is Hippo and Friends, and Hippo and Friends is really a cool stamp set and die set. These dies are labels that came with it, but our Hippo, our Hippo Happiness stamp set also came with dies that cut out the images, the little um, animals. So in that uh instance i actually as you can tell i split this die set up so the ones that cut out the images in the actual stamp set are with the actual stamp set 
And then the labels I store over here with my shapes. And for me, it just makes sense. It may not make sense to everybody else, but that's what makes sense to me. So um, these little folders I got from Stampin' Storage. They're six by seven, I believe, and they are amazing. They are very, very tough and completely see-through. So I love that. I can just quickly find what I need. Okay. Um, this container came from Tuesday morning. And I use this container to hold my memories and more. You can see I have several memories and more for my scrapbooking. And also I've been known to make a card or two using these. So don't just think of these as scrapbooking. You can do a lot with these um, memories and more card packs. Okay. I also keep like any envelopes, specialty envelopes and cards in here. So yeah, that's what this is. And then up here, um, this is kind of the same system that I use for my dies, but these are all embossing folders. And um, I use the same pockets that I use for my dies. So these live right there. I love embossing folders. They add so much wonderful texture to your cards. Um, this right here is really a different kind of container because it has four separate um, places in the container. It's, it's separated. See that? Yeah, and it's also at an angle. I like that. So in here, I have pre-cut inserts for the inside of my card because I use a lot of colored cardstock and DSP on the insides of my cards because I don't like a naked card. I like my inside to be pretty too. So, you know, you have the outside of your card. You work so hard to make it pretty. Why not make the inside pretty? But then by putting this in here, I have an area where I can write a personal message, which I really like. The next area, I keep my pre-folded um, card bases. So yeah, and I really like them folded like this. I don't know why, I just like it. <laughs> now I have very vanilla, I have some colored cardstock. And another one of my favorites is the gray granite. So I really like that. And then behind it, I have my envelopes and I have my clear envelopes. And I use those to protect cards that I make that I'm not sending out right away. So that's what lives in here. And then what, whoops, and what lives in here uh, dimensionals. It's the same container as this. Enter design that I bought on Amazon, by the way. I don't think I said that. And in here I keep all of my dimensionals and glue dots, um, some Avery repositional labels that I use for masking back here. I got those on um, Amazon. That's right there. Um, yeah, so that's what lives there. And then I have another one of these. And in these, I just keep like extra stamped images. Like, let's see. Remember I said I make a lot of uh, duplicate cards. And sometimes I just get carried away with stamping because it's, it's fun. So, yeah. So when I do that... I just throw them in here and then when I need a quick card like something comes up unexpectedly unexpectedly or whatever I can just jump in here and grab what I need to make a quick card so I like that um, right here this container I bought from Tuesday morning I bought this one from Tuesday morning too did I say that hmm don't know in here, I just um, put all of my kits. So this is our Simply Citrus kit. And um, I have our Gorgeous Posies kit. 
I have um, Most Wonderful Time product medley, which is like a kit. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on this, so watch for that. Um, that is for Christmas cards, and it's an amazing kit, and it is in our catalog. So if you'd like to purchase this, go visit my blog. Um, you can um, purchase from my online store um, by going to my blog, thepaperandinkspot.com. Yay, little plug. <laughs> okay, so right here, it's just business stuff. You can see these are the little dots I use on my stamp sets. Um, this is called my Ready Reference. It's for Stampin' Up! Demonstrators. It just has a lot of demonstrator facts and helpful information. So I have that right there that if I need to look at it, if my downline, if anyone has a question, poof. I can answer. Um, this is my square reader, so I can take payments over my phone. Yeah, so that's what that is. Um, I knit and I crochet. <laughs> so that's what these are, and that's where my drinks live. Um, except for this morning, for some reason, my protein drink did not make it over there. But there it is. Okay, so coming around here, I have an Ot light right there that I purchased at Joann's for 60% off. And then I'm a retired autism teacher, and so I have a teacher discount. And I'm able to use that even on items that um, are on sale. And, oh, actually, that was on sale, I think for like 50 or 60% off, but I used, uh, I got the sale plus I used my teacher discount. So it was super cheap and I like that. I like super cheap. Yeah, I really do. Um, that's my bunny. I love bunnies. I had a bunny named Fufu and, um, sadly he passed away and, um, he was really some bunny. He was, Oh my gosh, he was my little companion. Slept in my bed with me. <laughs> yeah, my husband doesn't mind. I I don't know. He's pretty great. But uh he shares me with my with my critters. Um right here, these are acrylic drawers and I purchased these two sets on Amazon for about $20. And in case you don't know, when you go to Amazon, Scroll through a couple pages because you will find that lots of companies offer these for sale and they will all be different prices. And some will have free shipping, some will not. So I actually got these for $20 and I'm a Prime member so I got free shipping. But they, these were like even $30, $33 from some companies. So I'm like, oh my gosh, some people may have paid $13 more for the same exact thing. Yeah, go figure. Okay, so in here I store all of my embellishments. These little half drawers, they fit the little um, Stampin' Up! pots. And some of our embellishments come in these little plastic, I call them little pots. I don't know what you call these, but yeah, that's that's what I call them. And you can see, you know, I have quite a few and then have another drawer here with, with some. Uh, this drawer are, these are holiday. And then this drawer are just kind of every day. So yeah, let's put those back. And then, um, and then in these drawers, I mean, all of these, all of these drawers hold embellishments and they are all in these four by six job ticket holders that I showed you when I first started this video. Um, the little box I had, these are four by six and I bought them on Amazon for pretty, pretty inexpensive. I want to say maybe $8 for that box of 50. So yeah. And that's all you'll ever really need unless you're an embellishment crazy person, <laughs> which I know people who are. So if you're one of those, you might want to get two boxes. But yeah, a birthday card for my little sister 
my little red-headed sister, and her name is Ginger. Yeah, my mom and dad did that to her. Okay, so here we go. Up here, I have um, watercolor pencils. Um, watercolor pencils from Stamping Up. Everything is Stamping Up. And underneath, I have my watercolor paper. Um, here I have um, erasers and post-it notes. Over here, I have some little rubber bands and some wide out. Um, these little rubber bands I got at the dollar store. And I use those um, to hold my light and dark blends together so that I don't have to go searching for the light and dark pair. They're just, I'm gonna show you real quick. Yeah, they're just held together. See that? Simple and easy and only takes a second to do. And I never have to search for um, the light and dark versions. They're always together. Yeah, um, Stampin' Write markers. I just have those kind of um, separated by color. Um, these are dye-based inks. They're not alcohol mar markers. Um, these come in handy for not only coloring, but um, if you stamp an image and you just have a little spot that maybe didn't stamp right and you used a block and not the stamparatus, you can take the coordinating color and just kind of poop poop fix it. It's really awesome. These are our alcohol-based markers, our blends. So... Those are really awesome. I totally love them, even though I do own some Copics. You can see those right there. I really hardly ever use the Copics anymore. Yeah, these are just so easy to use. And um, as you can tell, there are, oh, look at all these different colors of purple. And they all match. They all coordinate. So... That's what I love about Stampin' Up. Um, this right here, up here is a stamp that my sweet husband bought me. It says Cards by Tess. So I can, poof, stamp that on the back of my uh, cards that I make. I wonder if I stamped that one yet. Nope. Okay. This right here is a Tim Holtz um, carousel organizer. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. But it's made of metal. I don't know if you can tell. It's like a distressed metal. I absolutely love this. It holds everything I need at this end of my table, which is where I sit most of the time to work. I have two more ot lights right here that I can just pull in and, and put right here if I need extra lighting. Um... Right here, I have all of my glues. I have my um, my watercolor brushes. I have my spritzers. I have my take a pick tool that I use all the time. Spatulas for embossing paste. Um, stays on cleaner and stamp and mist so that I can clean my stamps. Um, this is just one of those lint-free um, uh, cloths that I use in conjunction with these to clean my stamps. Um, no, I'm not a smoker. I use this on my ribbon. So if you um, light this and then kind of put your ribbon close, it will like... Um, seal the ends of your ribbon so your ribbon doesn't fray and uh, make sure you do not put your ribbon too close to this because you don't you really don't want that to happen uh don't ask me how i know this yeah okay moving on more of those four by six job ticket holders that I just put some dimensionals in because I love my dimensionals. I use them on every card. I also love glue dots and these all came out of paper pumpkin kits. So yeah, 
Then over here, I have all my um, pens and some highlighters, things like that. Um, this is a bow tying, oh, what do you call this? I call it a jibbahiggy, a thingamajig. I don't know what you would call it. But it has these that stick in here. And then you can use it to tie a bow. And you can make some awesome pretty little bows with this. So, yeah, I totally love this. Let me see. Put it back over here where it goes. Um, my scissors, some other tools. This is a great tool. It's actually an eraser. And let's see if I can get it to focus on that tip. That eraser tip. See that? It takes off like little ink smudges or little stray ink spots. Um, that's why I named my... Um, company the paper and ink spot because yeah i just tend to get those ink spots but this takes care of that so i love it love this little tool right here and i got this on amazon by the way um let me see it is by culture creations couture creations hmm Okay, not sure. But anyway, I did purchase this off of Amazon and I believe several of the um stamp stamping companies out there um offer this as well. So you can find this in different places. But yeah. And then the paper towels. Can't live without paper towels. <laughs> and then here's my little pop up trash can. I use this for scraps all the time. Um, over here is my ink pad storage by Stamp, uh, Stamp and Storage. I love this. People, this is worth every penny. Um, yeah, you need this in your life. Trust me. Okay. And they have many different styles. They have a style that has a spot for your reinker and um, your markers if you um, use stamping up products. So everything coordinates and it's all in the same spot. I wish I would have purchased it. I didn't at the time. Um, I just wanted to try something and I got this, but I'm very happy I have it. So yeah. This right here, little mini trimmer, little four and a quarter by six inch mini trimmer that only uh, demonstrators can purchase right now. So that's an incentive to be a demonstrator, right? <laughs> Up here, my most used punches live. And uh, what I did was I took some retired Stampin' Up! paper and I punched out every image. And I actually use these to line up to see if I can use that punch to punch out a sentiment or an image. So if you don't have one of these, if you have punches, do this. It's extremely helpful and it saves a lot of punching out things that you thought would punch and really didn't. And then you have to start over. So yeah, bad. Okay, I have a ring of all of our, our stamping up cardstock, and I use this to like match up like what papers I want to use together. Very helpful, very helpful. And right here, I have all of our embossing folders, and I have embossed each one of them. You can tell this is the new one, Forest. I love it. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Yeah. Old paper. Um, yeah, I just, I have them all. So they're so, it, and this way I can look through here and say, okay, I want to, I want to use that on a card. That would look really, really good on a card. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah. That's brick and mortar. Love that. Um, yeah. Tintile. All of these different ones. So yeah, 
just another little tool that I use to help me in my card making. And actually, they live on this command strip right here on my Stampin' Storage uh, ink pad holder. Because it's made of wood, it's super strong and sturdy. Yeah. Okay, so we're coming around to the end. Right here are my two drawers that I have together. And on top, I have my scoreboard, which I love to use my scoreboard. I'm just old school. I know the trimmer has a score blade and a cutting blade, but for some reason, my mind does not want to accept that. <laughs> and it's like, I'm like, okay, does the light gray score cut? Or is it the dark gray? I don't know. This is just easier for me. I make a lot of 3D projects too. So this is the way to go for me. It may not be for everybody, but for me, I like that. <laughs> um, over here is my old Big Shot machine that was retired last year. Um, it is old. I purchased this uh, way before I was even a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, so it has seen better days. So I'm really excited because August the 4th, we have a brand new die and emboss machine that actually folds up and it's really compact. Um, it's amazing. I cannot wait to get it. So I will be, um, putting this away permanently, uh, when I get my new one. Okay. And, oh, these are just tapes I use to um, stick down dies, you know, so when I run them through, they don't move. <laughs> okay, so over here, I have my acrylic blocks. I still use these a lot, even though I use my Stamparatus a lot. I, I'll use these for something quick. Um, this is my chamois. I have it, my chamois cut in half and in one of these half boxes, but these half boxes I don't believe are um, available anymore. But no worries, you can leave your chamois whole and it will fit perfect in a regular stamp case. So I have that too. <laughs> and down here, this is just my homemade templates for making a wreath. And then my other Stampin' Up! supplies, there's my grid paper, and then my extra plates right there. So that's what's in that drawer, and these are my reinkers. And then these two drawers are empty. Yay! Space to grow, right? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Okay, these are my, all of my Stampin' Up! ribbons. And I just have these in these pretty pink containers from the Dollar Tree. So they were dollar piece. And they fit the um, ribbon rolls perfectly. So I love that. In here I have my um, finger daubers, my sponges, embossing powder, embossing paste, my embossing buddy. This has been retired. So I only think that Stampin' Up! is coming up with something better. Um, yeah, because that's how Stampin' Up! rolls. So that's what I'm, I'm thinking. Um, down here I have my extra embellishments, extra blades, basically all things extra. So I just kind of keep them there. Um, this drawer I keep my adhesives. So our new Stampin' Seal adhesive um, is awesome. Awesome, awesome. If you have not tried it, try it. It's great. That's an old snail refill. You can see I only have one left. So I'm not a wasteful person. I will use it and then it will be gone, which makes me happy. Um, empty drawer in the bottom. So yeah. These, um, just a, just a little caveat here. These Michaels items I got using a very generous gift card that my good friend Allie and Kelvin gave to me one time. Uh, yeah, I mean, they are such generous people. Allie has been a real blessing to me. She's also my physical therapist, my friend and my physical therapist. So I have RA, rheumatoid arthritis. And I've had some joint replacements and uh, 
uh, Allie has been my physical therapist through all of those, th those things and other surgeries I've had. So she's amazing. And actually when I bought all of these storage units, they were 60% off. And then I had an additional coupon that was like 25% off. So I got a ton of Michael's storage, these drawers, um, these drawers, that drawer, the cubes, and some of this as well. I got all of that on a gift card that she gave me. Um, it was a generous gift card, I admit, but, um, but I got a deep discount and I even had money left over. So crazy. Yeah. Okay. So that's my little craft room chore. Um, oh, that's my son. Isn't he handsome? 2020 graduate. Um, sad, sad that his high school year uh, wasn't what it should have been, but in the, in the life of, um, 2020 and COVID-19, uh, you know, we have to do what keeps us safe and by them having school online and not having prom, not having graduation, not having senior athletes day and all of those things, it kept everybody safe, but it's sad that he didn't didn't get to make those memories like the rest of us have. So, yeah, I'm a mom. Makes me sad. Um, there's my other kids real quick. So my sugar pie, my baby in the middle, and my wonder boy on the end. Wonder boy has Down syndrome and autism, and he is my perfect child. So a little bit about me. So anyway, thank you so much for watching my video today. Please, please be kind to each other. We need this so much. We need to be kind. And um, also stay healthy, stay safe out there in the world. It's, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, thanks for stopping by. And please come back and see me again. Um, check out my blog at thepaperandinkspot.com and look for future videos. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.